The Daily Mail drunk a dental receptionist who groped schoolboy 13 and told him she wanted to ride him till morning before exposing herself and waking up remembering nothing after a white wine binge is spared jail. Uh-huh. Jade Berry, 27, approached the boy and his friend at Riverker Valley Country Park. Could you imagine? Just imagine if the roles were reversed and it was a 27-year-old man that went up to a 13-year-old girl and said that, you know, he wanted to blast her all night long and then passed out. He would be executed. He would be put up for capital crimes. We all know this case. But no, 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 women, they, they can't, they can do no wrong. They're all perfect little angels. Now, before we get into this, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure that you're still subscribed because YouTube does unsubscribe people every single day. You can find me over on Rumble and on Twitter. Stick around for the palate cleanser. That'll be fun at the end of the video. Um, wash this bad taste of whatever's in here out of your mouth. A dental receptionist sexually assaulted a 13-year-old boy after she began chatting him up at random following a white wine binge. Jade Berry, 27, was staggering through Riviker. Valley Country Park in Ellesmere Port, Cheshire, at 9 p.m. when she accosted the child as he sat on a woodland bench talking with a friend about his forthcoming 14th birthday. Barry sat between the two boys and began stroking the 13-year-old's wiener over his clothing before offering him sex and saying she would ride you till morning. As the shocked youngster and his friend got up to leave, she pulled down her trousers and exposed herself before passing out on a drunk, in a drunken stupor. Oh, what a winner. We got, we got these women today that are just, I mean, they're, they're amazing, aren't they? Look at the things that they're doing. I mean, they're exposing themselves for free to 13-year-olds. It's better than a strip club. What is the world coming to? The two boys took videos of Barry before getting up to leave. She was identified after leaving her bank card and phone on the bench. This is a picture of her right here. Oh, okay. She's, she looks great, doesn't she? They got a thick, saggy neck, pudgy belly, and uh, she's smoking a cigarette there. She's obviously got dyed hair. It's dyed orange. Yeah. She's not um, not much of a looker, is she? Especially for 20. She's only 27. Man. Oh, and what do I say? Jay Berry, who lives in the village of Little Sutton near Ellesmere Port, pleaded guilty to sexual assault. And here we have a picture of her. Uh, Berry sexually assaulted a 13-year-old boy in a park before exposing herself to him and passing out. Do you notice a difference? Do you notice a difference here between these two pictures? I do. I notice a serious difference here. She looks really pretty here. What's going on here? Huh. Either this is a really old picture of her, or it's got a filter on it, and it or maybe it's Photoshopped instead. But yeah, I mean, it's this is not what she looks like, <laughs> right? This is the picture they use, so you feel sorry for her, right? Or you, you don't think it's such a big deal that, hey, look, look at this really pretty young-looking girl. I mean, she looks like she's 19 here in this picture. Oh, she's only like 19. Yeah, I mean, the boy wasn't that much. He was a, he was a very mature looking 13 year old. She didn't know. Uh huh. When interviewed by police, Barry exclaimed, Oh my God, I do not recall anything, but was later picked out by the boy at an identity parade. The 13 year old who has ADHD said he was so traumatized by the encounter that he tried to take his own life. Yeah, I'm not surprised. When I was 13, I would have thought a 27-year-old was freaking an old lady. I would have been like, what are you doing? Why are you coming on me? And she was touching me. I mean, I would have been like, whoa, what's going on here? How come this adult is doing these things? I would have been freaked out by it. At Chester Crown Court Barry, who lives in the village of Little Sutton near Ellesmer Port, pleaded guilty to sexual assault and was sentenced 12 months in jail, suspended for 18 months, which means she's not going to go to prison. She was. She, it said on the title of the article that she dodged jail time anyway, so... You know, she's not going to get anything for this. Um, as long as she doesn't do anything illegal or get caught doing anything illegal in these 18 months, she won't go to prison. Barry was also ordered to wear an electronic sobriety tag for 120 days as part of an alcohol abstinence monitoring program and will have to complete 35 rehabilitation activity days. She was told to sign on the sex offender register for 10 years. Only 10 years? Not a lifetime like a man would get? I mean, I don't know. Maybe in England they don't because it sounds like this is in... United Kingdom. Like I said, a man would be, he would have been executed for this. She gets off after 10 years of, with no consequences, probably, in the end. Barry had told the court she had mental health issues. Yeah, it's called being a woman in the Western world. The incident occurred on October 3rd, last year, after Barry was making her way through the 300-acre nature reserve after a drinking session with friends. James Couts, 
Prosecuting said the victim was seated on a bench in Woodland when the defendant approached him. She was unknown to him and was clearly intoxicated. She sat between the two boys and began to touch and rub his wiener and the upper area of his thigh over his clothes whilst making highly inappropriate and sexualized comments. She, she said she was going to ride him till morning. There she is again. Look at this picture here. Look how, look how pretty she is. Wow, she's really pretty. Well, imagine that. Yeah. You would, you, would want a, you would want a girl like this to come on to your son, wouldn't you? Look at that. She's beautiful. But um, yeah, this is obviously photoshopped. Again, it's not hard to do these things. They had, in fact, been talking previously about his upcoming 14th birthday, and it was quite clear to them she knew how old he was. The boys almost immediately left, leaving her on the bench. She removed her clothing and exposed her reproductive organs and buttocks before passing out. They did take a video of the scene. The victim went home and told his mother, who contacted the police. The officers attended the scene and found her bank card and her phone. So she just left them there and left the scene? Is that what happened? That's crazy. Yeah, by the time the officers arrived, she had left the area, but she was arrested on October 5th. Her response to being arrested was, oh my God, I don't recall anything. You know what the problem is here? So there used to be a time when woman, a woman in uh, our culture was the uh, responsibility of her father, an older male relative if the father wasn't around or uh, her husband. And um, now they're not anymore. So they're allowed to go out and act like idiots all the time. And there was a reason for that convention existing because we knew that women would go out and act like idiots all the time unless we had a responsible male to go, hey, look, you don't do that. That's not ladylike. You have to be respectful of the civilization you live in instead of going around and producing millions of illegitimate children because that's no good for anyone. She was asked questions in an interview. She answered... No comment to all questions. An identity parade was arranged in which the victim was involved. He successfully identified the defendant as the one involved in the incident. Mr. Kautz described the impact of the incident on the teenage victim. The victim described feeling low after the assault and described an occasion where he tried to take his own life. He had night terrors about the incident afterwards and nightmares. He described taking medication and does not feel able to return to the park. He does not leave the house much. He is feeling scared, anxious, and generally feeling unsafe. He has received counseling from two separate sources to aid his recovery, but he has lost the confidence that he had. Clearly, there are aggravating factors to his offense. There was the presence of alcohol and the inebriation of the defendant, and the victim was particularly vulnerable due to his age and difficulties. Barry had one previous conviction for drink driving i think it's supposed to be drunk driving in 2021 okay so you might be thinking yeah man this guy got you know some girl came on to him look she's pretty cute yeah and she looks cute here too so again these um pictures have been doctored or there's a filter on them or something the thing is he's 13 like when i was 17 i got my first job when i was 17 and there was this girl young woman she's older than me who everybody said was gorgeous just just gorgeous but to me she looked like she was an old woman right <laughs> she's only 21 but she was coming on to me like seriously like asking like seriously you want to be my boyfriend and I'm like, I'm only 17. And she's like, that doesn't matter. Nobody's going to come after me if, if you date me because, you know, this whole age limit thing doesn't exist. I mean, she seriously was trying to convince me to go out with her. And I'm like, dude, she's just some old woman. I don't want to be with you. I was, I was 17 and she was 21. So it's not like there was some huge age difference there, but I was, it was enough. Four years was enough. I'm like, I'm still a kid, basically. And you're an adult woman trying to, like, get me to do stuff with you. I'm like, not interested. Sorry. So a 13-year-old boy having this experience. Yeah, when I was 13 and some 27-year-old came on to me, especially some ugly 27-year-old, because she didn't look like this in that first picture, right? She has a lot of sag down here in that first picture. So uh, I would have been totally freaked out by some 27-year-old coming on to me at 13. Her counsel, John Williams, said she has sadly suffered from mental health problems since the age of 15 or 16, and COVID was a particularly difficult time for her. She has a self-destructive nature, and because of this nature, she has turned to alcohol to deal with, with his issues, but I think it's supposed to be her issues, but she now realizes that is not the answer to her problems. Yeah, so it's called having a responsible male in your life to take care of you, to make sure that you are on the straight and narrow. That's just how it is, because women want to go off and do all sorts of crazy stuff because they're all about the fifis. Does it feel good? I want to do it then. You need to have a man there to go, look, you can't act this way. You cannot behave this way. There were times when a school teacher could not be seen in public with a male who was not her relative because it would be considered unseemly. Why? Because you don't want people having a hand in raising your children because the this, this school teacher would have a hand in raising your child. You don't want a person with loose morals in that position. Look where we are today with the craziness we see coming out of these schools. We wonder why the world is falling apart.
There she is again, the ugly picture. That's her. Oh, looks does not look at all like she does here, right? It looks very different. It looks like a different person. Like I would not. These are not the same people. There's something vastly different here. The eye color is even different. Could be the lighting that's causing the eye color to be different, or it could be contact lenses. This is yeah, this is a totally different person. The separation of her parents is another factor that has caused her mental anguish. Her memory of this unfortunate incident is fairly scant, but she did not want that young boy to have to give evidence in a trial. Her psychiatrist identifies anxiety disorder, panic attacks, borderline personality disorder as mental health issues. And because of those problems, she has been drinking too much. It's, it's because we've, we've lost sight of what's important in the world. If you have strong morals, none of this is an issue. If you just go, hey, look, I don't consume alcohol, or at least I don't consume it to, ex to excess, period. That's immoral. Um, I don't interact with uh, children in this way, period. Okay. Um, I don't engage in these relationships, these intimate relationships with men, unless I'm already in an established long-term commitment with them. All of these problems go away instantaneously. Wow. Has absolutely nothing to do with, you don't even have to invoke my notion that she should be, she should be under the care of a, a responsible male. But no, we're not allowed to, not allowed to have morals today. No, no, that's how dare you place restrictions on a woman. It seems that her alcohol intoxication may have led her into doing and committing this offense. There is genuine heartfelt remorse, and she shows the victim empathy. Mm -hmm. Sentencing Judge Eric Lamb said, as it was a chance meeting, you were not aware of the vulnerability of your victim, but the consequence of what you did have been awful for the complainant and his family. He has tried to take his own life, suffering night terrors and requiring counseling in an effort to overcome the impact of that which you have done. You have no recollection of what you did as a result of the amount of alcohol that you had taken, but the commission of an offense when drinking is an aggravated feature. The reasons for your taking alcohol are many and complex, and although you must, must have regard to whether or not you present a risk or of serious harm to members of the public by the commission of further specific offenses. In your case, the conclusion is that such a risk is low. I accept that there is genuine and heartfelt remorse. On the one hand, this is a, a sexual bad thing on a young person by someone who is 27 years of age, and it is plainly, plainly a serious matter. But on the other side, there is strong personal mitigation as a result of genuine remorse and the series of events that have led you to your mental health difficulties, you now realize that you must alter your ways. Yeah. We have comments, but it wasn't a man, okay? Not sure what he means by that. But. Classic equality at work, yep. Very, very equal situation here. You're right, Andy. <sighs> and then uh, Fun Ferret said, had it happened before? No, the article said it didn't happen before. Witchy woman says, if a woman does this to a youngster, same sentence as a man. No difference, right? Exactly. Always question, why have they used someone else's social photos? That person looks nothing like, yeah, exactly. That's the different person, like I was saying. Drago says, I'm with the men on this one. Sentence should be the same. Unacceptable. Yep. Uh, I'm not sure what that person's name is. A male dentist does the same to a 13-year-old girl, and he goes to jail for a long time. Her walking free is incomprehensible yeah everybody gets it that it should be the same sentence logan curly says this here is flat ridiculous she deserves to have the book thrown at her instead she's getting a slap on the wrist i'm disappointed with the justice system out there yeah i know they are uh saying that she is an upstanding citizen and, and wouldn't normally do this but she's having mental problems it, yeah okay so you think that men go around like in total control of their mental faculties that's why they commit crimes but yet they get the book thrown at them when this happens very different person yeah different person and this is a different person that from this person right here. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is a different person too. So yeah, it's ridiculous. Anyway, that's all I got for this time. Thanks for watching. Now here's your palate cleanser.